All right, guys, we are 30 December 2023, and I saw this article. Today's video is about the Tesla Cybertruck involved in first reported crash demolishes Toyota Corolla's front end in head-on collision. All right, that's the headline. So what do you think really happened? What is your program mind from the media thinking or telling you what happened? What is it in that you are uh, been brainwashed with thinking? Are you blaming, oh my God, it's a Tesla. It's on autopilot. It must be to blame. It's a, it's heavy. It's a tank. It Therefore, it was the problem. Uh, wrong. Uh, that's it. You don't have to watch the video anymore. It was not the Cybertruck's fault. So let's go through it. This is the Tesla stainless steel Cybertruck, which was involved in its first reported accident after finally hitting the road last month. Uh, yeah, it wasn't pretty for the other car. We have photos, so stay tuned. Uh, let's see. A Toyota Corolla, of all things. Yeah, was left crumpled after appearing to collide head-on, Big Daddies, with the fully electric Mega Monster bomber-like vehicle on Thursday. Oh, it's Reddit. Reddit's evil, man. Don't don't go on Reddit. It's just the worst site ever. Stay off Reddit. Stay off tif TikTok. Reddit is Reddit is vile. Anyway, let's go. The Toyota front end. Its front end was completely demolished. Yeah, wait to see the photos, man. With the sedan side bag side airbags deployed as it rested on its side. All right, we get it. Get here we go. The 17-year-old driver was not hurt, local coppers told the Post. The Cybertruck, meanwhile, appeared in perfect condition because it's bulletproof. Though the uh, front end was, uh, wasn't clearly visible as it straddled the yellow line on a two-lane road in Palo Alto, California. It's always according to this Post. Who cares about the Reddit Post? Uh, I lived out there. I can talk about this area. I'll tell you my thoughts. So we got a 17-year-old kid up in the mountains in a curvy roads in a Toyota Corolla. Okay. I'm setting the stage. The CHPers, when you uh, need help and aid, the CHP is on their way. Yeah. And wait till they get there. They'll, they'll just ruin your life. All right. Let's go on. The CHP confirmed the accident to the post. Big deal. Uh, sharing an accident report that showed the Cybertruck was carrying three humanoids in their 30s at the time of the incident. What were those three 30-year-olds doing up in the mountains? All right. Elon Musk made SUV was it in self-driving mode, according to the report. See? You see? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, with all the mainstream media trying to make you hate Elon Musk because he believes in free speech and making Twitter free, X free, uh, they're out to get him. The regime and all these powers that be are out to get Musk. And they have made the narrative so that Tesla bad, Tesla evil. Blah, 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 blah. Before they used to love Musk and his little electric little car zipping around town like the Jetsons. But now, now that he believes in free speech, they're out to get him. So they want to make you think it was the Tesla's fault. And it was not. So here is the, uh, the yummy little Corolla. Airbags deployed within. It looks like he got smackered right on the old driver's front uh, quarter panel, front side. Smash that puppy in good. Yeah. Images from the crash, which took place Thursday on California Skyline Boulevard. That's up on top of the mountain. So you go up from the 235 or from, you can go from Palo Alto up, or you can go, if you're Mountain View, Sunny, but you go up into the mountain, right? And you can cut up any way to get up on Skyline and drive. And that's on top of the mountain, runs all the way up to San Francisco. And there's a little place up there called Alice's Restaurant. You can go hang out. It's all trees, cedar, redwoods, and all that crap. It's beautiful, like you can see. It's very wooded for being next to the uh, cesspool of San Francisco. Uh, it's amazing up there. Uh, I used to live out there. It was expensive then. It's horrible now. And I had a motorcycle. Those roads are switchbacks all the way up to get up to Skyline Drive. You know, you're switching back. You're cutting back on itself. Very the Trucks can't go up there. But it's a great motorcycle haven. I almost got killed on it once because I wasn't paying attention on one of the switchbacks. That wakes you up real quick when you're about ready to meet your maker. So I understand what the road conditions are like up there. And it looks like it's wet too. So this kid's 17. He's probably a happy little kid, you know, hoping to get some, uh, get Becky naked that weekend. And uh, he's just driving happily on Skyline Drive. Probably a little too fast on the curves and just swung it wide to his uh, amazement into the path of the new Cybertruck. 
bulletproof, two million pound lithium ion, ion uh, possible thermal runaway nuclear bomb truck. You gotta love it, baby. Give me one. I actually was on the waiting list to get a cyber truck, and I thought, what am I gonna do with this thing? I have, I have a Toyota Tacoma. I it's perfectly fine. But get this, guys. Full disclosure, I did have model number um, Tesla Model S number 5400 off the Fremont line. Dudes, listen to that, dudes. I'm OG. I'm original. And I'm original gangster. I'm an early adopter with Tesla. I should have held their stock at 35, but all the press was knocking it back in the day, 2014, and I dumped it. Boy, I'd be, I wouldn't be making YouTube videos now. I'd be living on my own island in the Bahamas. Well, no, that didn't sound right. That's Epstein. All right, stop that. Stop. Uh, I would be financially independent. Okay. Don't want to be near on, on an island in the Bahamas these days. Whoa. All right, let's rock and roll. There's the old Tesla truck, fully armored, fully uh, arm, armed out. You know, who knows what kind of machine guns it's got in there and some missiles and shields and stuff. It's awesome. It's pure awesomeness. Do you need one? No. Do you want one? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. All right, the Tesla Cybertruck involved in the accident appeared to be relatively unscathed. Okay. Chippers units responded to the two-vehicle accident around 2 or 5 p.m. Oh, good for them. They probably had to leave their donuts and, you know, violating people's rights and to go check out this accident. So, they, you know, they always violate your rights. Trust me. The uh, Toyota driven by a 17-year-old at unknown speed. Yeah, right. He was broke the yellow double yellow line because he was going around the curve. It was probably wet. He wasn't paying attention. Or Becky was in the car with him and he was, you know, wasn't paying attention to the road. You know what I mean? 17-year-olds all hormoned up. All right. The uh, Toyota then re-entered the roadway, crossed over the double yellow lines in the northbound lane and crashed into a Tesla uh, Cybertruck traveling on uh, north of uh, on SR State Road 35. The only injury noted was a uh, suspected minor injury to the Cybertruck driver. And probably the boner of the 17-year-old driving the Corolla, though the uh, he declined medical transportation. And Becky fixed the 17-year-old's boner just fine. All right, the dash cam footage share to Yupu also showed the accident which took place on Skyline Boulevard. Yeah, if you're ever out there, go. But I don't recommend going to San Francisco. Stay out of San Francisco at all costs. You will be robbed. You will step in poop. Uh, you park a rental car, they'll rob it. You park anything, they'll rob it. They'll rob it with you in it. It is total lawlessness in San Francisco due to their ideology. It's bad, guys. It is bad. Stay out. All right, I'm, be, I'm not even joking. No matter what side of your fence you're on, go there at your own peril. It is horrible. All right. Representatives for Tesla did not immediately respond to the post request for comment. They're like, you know, they're in Tesla headquarters in Texas going, Oh, man, you got to be freaking kidding me. What were these doofuses driving up on the mountain road for? Uh, they're just like, God, can't we cut a break? And you got some idiot kid. Cross, see the curve right here? There's a curve. See that? Little Junior came flying on the curve. Probably swung it too wide and clipped the truck. And they're all just out being little yuppies in their 30-year-old truck. Probably um, some techies just got laid off or something from uh, Facebook. And they got, they got taken out. That thing is kind of ugly, though. <laughs> The truck is kind of ugly. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I like my Tacoma. I did like the Model S I had. It was it was nice. It it, it, did, it did do some weird quirky things now and then because it was brand new. It was new tech at the time. Uh, but it was a nice car. I got rid of it because I moved to a small town down here where I don't even need a car. I have a golf cart and a little pickup truck. Yeah, but um, it was a good car. I mean, but I did miss the fact it didn't have the luxury like a BMW or an Audi inside. And it didn't have the sound of a V8 or something. I wanted that engine sound. And I just wanted that. So I like having a gas engine again for some reason. Electric, And I have an electric golf cart. So there's my taste for lithium ion right there. Uh, I'm not too thrilled about knowing the, the lithium ion batteries can go uh, full of thermal meltdown and just you know burn to the center of the earth. That kind of freaks me out. So I'm definitely watching it. Uh, watch any lithium ion batteries you got. You, look at thermal runaway. The key word for your homework tonight and write a, write a paper and post it below thermal runaway lithium ion batteries and look at some of those videos guys i would not park one near your house in your house in the garage maybe park it out by itself and that's what the council the uh, county does and whenever they reclaim say damaged electric vehicles it doesn't have to be tesla they will put them out in a the field 
about 50 feet away from each other and they'll be, they'll be up on blocks, the rear, so it, yeah, the firefighters can get at them if they reignite or ignite. Uh, the regular ICE, internal combustion engine cars, are parked in a line, butt to butt, right? But when you go to these parks, look it up, you will see all these EVs <clears throat> spaced out. And what happens, sometimes these EVs are in a wreck and then they uh, get the thermal runaway and they burn. Firefighters dump tons and tons of water on it. It takes like 10 times as much water, if not more, to put out a, a, an EV bit fire than a, a regular ICE, a turn up combustion engine. And then what happens is the tow truck guys come, they pick up the burnt electric vehicle. Let's use Chevy Volt for now. We're picking on Tesla too much. They tow it back to their yard. The thing will actually reignite. The uh, thermal runaway is still happening inside those battery cells. It's almost like a, a thermal runaway. It's like a chain reaction, nuclear reaction, man. So they have to run and put the car out in the street and just let the thing burn to the ground. Oh, it's scary. You got to watch this stuff, man. The tech is not ready for prime time. All right, let's see. Uh, the front and rear structures of the truck, just like the Model S had a, called a frunk. It was a, a crushable front impact error area and the ntsb gave the t tesla awesome safety reviews man a lot of impact areas i mean you're gonna walk out of that thing fine i never had this self-driving crap i didn't care it wasn't ready for me at the time it was still on the drawing board yeah oh let's go ahead earlier this month six professors and officials who viewed videos of crash tests conducted by tesla warned that the electric pickup truck stiff echo echo xo skeleton that's like that's like science fiction could hurt pedestrians and cyclists and damage other vehicles. Uh, you know what, dude? If you have a SUV, a Sequoia, an uh, Escalade, a Yukon, you're going to do just as much damage to a little freaking pedestrian and a cyclist. And most of these bicyclists deserve it because they're douchebags on the road. So they cut cars off. They act invincible. They act like gravity and physics do not apply to them. So when they get splattered, an angel gets its wings. I mean, it's all good. So that's the way I feel, and I do not change my mind. These little, these little lycra wearing, uh, uh, little uh, road, uh, road douchebaggers. They're kind of horrible people. Oh yeah, the guy I work I worked with. He was kind of a prick. I forgot his name. I, I'm gonna put his name on this video, but I can't remember it. But he was such a douche, and he rode his bike everywhere. Oh, Mister Mister Bicyclist. And he was just his attitude, and maybe he got splattered by a Tesla Cybertruck. Who knows? All right, let's go. The big problem there is the, uh, they really uh, they really make the skin of the vehicle very stiff by using thick stainless steel. Then when people hit their heads on it, it's going to cause some more damage to them. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. oh my God. I, I have kids. I want my kids to be in a strong vehicle that can withstand an idiot hitting them like a stupid 17-year-old uh, with Becky in the car getting his little knob rubbed. I want him to be protected. I want my my family to be protected in a cyber truck I'm, I'm all for it man armor me up boom all right Musk shrugged off the warnings instead touting on social media that he was highly confident that cyber truck would be safer than other trucks for both occupants and pedestrians come on it doesn't matter if it's a cyber truck <coughs> i could run somebody over with my golf cart and maim them it's it's so stupid of a point see the media is doing anything and all these organizations are doing everything they can to bring Musk down, to tarnish his name, tarnish his product. Why? Because he believes in free speech and opening up Twitter, make it Twitter 2.0, which is X, making it free for all. And uh, the regimes don't like it. They don't want you to have free speech. It's scary. So they're going after him. Here it is. I like the comments. Hey, Jay Scroggs, why did you even take time to post, Jay? Don't you have something better to do? All right, Toyota driver was at fault, honorable son. If the truck were a Chevy Ford Dodge, It'd be, well, wouldn't it be running if it was a Chevy Ford or Dodge? It'd be in the shop and you'd be paying thousands of bucks just to fix most basic stuff. Yeah. At least the Toyota work because Toyota is well built. He, the little kid was out with Becky on the hot Skyline Drive. You know, the fact that he hit a truck was, you know, he should be paying attention. Anyway, you know, if it was a Chevy Ford Dodge, it would not have made news. Exactly. Exactamente. Uh, let's see. Kudos to Tesla and Musk. I don't like EVs, but I do love safety. Tesla seems to have that in excellence here. Yeah, they do have safety. Um, let's see. Yeah, the driver of the Toyota was not hurt. These cars are made to absorb collision, so the driver doesn't. Oh, my God. We are just meat bags, guys. I mean, we're going to... Your body can only take so much. I love the new tanks on the roads. All right. 17-year-old was proudly texting, if not filming, a TikTok video. 
He should serve jail time for the risk he put so many people. Um, he broke his boner, so I think he's going to be out of action for a long time. TikTok, Facebook, IG, I'll have these types of software to prevent disinformation or any information they find inconvenient. Through the oh, my God. All right, I don't want to get PC here because everyone knows the truth. You don't need to read it. You all get it. Uh, let's see. The TikTok has software. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you can track the, whatever software he was on, the GPS, and see what he was doing at the time. He was probably just speeding. He was probably just wasn't paying attention. Two in the afternoon, a 17-year-old. Why is it? Oh, he must be off. I was going to say, he might be out of school. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, what's this? All right. Let's see. I'm trying to see what's going on. Oh, let's, I don't care about the comments. So there you go. Let's look at the pictures again together. Squishy, squishy. Cybertruck intact with some mud on it. Get that mud off there. Look at a cop standing there. Eh, I, I'm just following orders, and I'm waiting for my pension. So if you're not wearing your mask, I'm going to come lock you up. If you go to church, I'm going to lock you up. <laughs> if you try to go to the gym, <laughs> I'm going to lock you up because I'm just following orders and violating my oath of office to protect the Constitution. Oh, I'm sorry. That was my rant about how cops don't follow your uh, the constitutional rights that you have been given by being a citizen of this country. Uh, yeah, prove me wrong. Okay, look at this guy. What's is that the same dude? That's the same Mr. Dude. Look, he's all chilling out at the old back of the Tesla. He's going, I just can't even, I can't even afford the gas to put in the Tesla truck. That's what he's thinking. I can't even afford the gas to put in it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. That's all I got, guys. Thought it was interesting. Tesla trucks are out. Uh, let me see. Is there another picture of it? Elon Musk says Tesla Cybertruck may soon be able to function as a boat. Oh, dear God. You put that in salt water, there is no way. You Because salt water and uh, lithium ion batteries, is, I think that, that help cause is, I don't know, but it just doesn't go well. I think you start getting some thermal runaway actions on that as well. That angle looks all right. It just looks like a, 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 a Hulk Hogan version of the DeLorean, doesn't it? I don't know. What is this? Cybertruck prototype gets stuck in the snow while hauling Christmas tree. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, nah, I'm not, I'm really not digging it. I think it's interesting. It's novelty. This is what I didn't like about the Tesla. It was just so sterile. It was like Star Trek. It was so sterile inside. And I miss having gauges and stuff. I like that in cars. I want an RPM gauge. I want, I, it's old school, but I love it, man. I want it. I want a, I want a stick shift. I want a clutch. Man, give me that. Give me it. That's what I want. I want to feel the engine. I mean, I don't know about this. What do you guys think? Vote? Not vote. In the comments below. In addition to your thermal ion lithium battery runaway research, also post, do you like this thing? I don't know, man. I did have it on the waiting list, but I, I dropped out. Because what am I going to do? Look at this. Mid-tier costs 80000 bucks. God, man. I know a freaking those crappy truck dealers, truck manufacturers, Ford, Dodge is pure crap. Do not buy a Dodge. It used to be Ford found on road that Dodges. You get one year out of the things, you know, going to be breaking down. It's going to be in the shop Dodge shop full time. You're going to be going broke paying to fix minor stuff, basic components that have failed. Uh, Chevy just as bad. Union built stuff is crap. Get a Toyota. Look, the kid was in his Toyota. My God. Yeah. Tesla and a Toyota. Both are on the road. The other trucks aren't. They're broken down. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't know. I had a Ford. I can speak to it. It was crap. It felt uh, the transmission blew apart, and I donated it to Purple Heart, not because I'm a good, nice person. Just I wanted it out of my driveway because it was leaking tranny fluid everywhere. And the guy that got it uh, through the donation, he fixed it up, and I think he's got a nice uh, Ford F-150 cab dual tank. Good for him. I'm glad. I'm glad I could help someone, but I just wanted it out of my driveway. Uh, let's see. Why would you use Tesla as a boat? Yeah, let, let it function as a truck first. Comments are always funny. You know, people that can never afford to buy one of these always make the stupidest comments about them. So, jealousy, hate comes from beneath. <laughs> oh, that's all I got, guys. Tesla truck is out. If you see one, let me know what you think of it. Are you going to buy one? If you buy one, let me drive in it, okay? And look, it's just too sterile for me. It'd be cool just to beat it up, but that's a lot of money. And like I said, Fords, Dodge, Toyotas, they're all 90000 too. They're all, I wouldn't buy any, I wouldn't pay any of that money for a truck. I want financial independence, folks. I want to be financially independent. If you're going to go out and waste your money on this crap, 
any truck, any vehicle, not just Tesla. You're stupid. You should be investing that money. You should get getting close to retiring where you can go work and do what you want to work, not be at a slave crappy job the rest of your life. All right, that is all I got. I'm out. Take care. Talk to you later.